Two teacher unions, Stewu and Nagrat, have proposed to government to consider subsidizing private schools when the free SHS policy is rolled out in September this year, reacting to concerns private schools could be put out of business when the policy is rolled out. The teacher unions suggested dialogue to resolve their fears. From the Ministry of Education, suggests that there are about 850 public and private senior high schools in the country. Out of the figure, about 500 comprise public senior high schools, while the rest are private senior high schools. However, managers of private schools have already expressed fear the rollout of the policy could kick them out of business. The Minister of Education, Dr. Macho Poko Prempe, indicated government will dialogue private institutions before the policy is rolled out. Ahead of the policy, the Teachers and Education Workers Union, Tewu, is proposing a subsidy for private schools to keep them in business. Government will need to look at this policy holistically and how does it affect the private school's operations. Will there be the need for some subsidy to be extended to the private schools because they are producing human resource for this country. The General Secretary, Augustine Cabo, also charged governments to provide adequate resources when the policy is rolled out. General Secretary of the National Association of Graduate Teachers, Nagrat, Stanislaus Nabomi, is of the view government should allay the fears of private schools. They should be able to sit down with government and see how they can be leveraged. These are the difficulties we now encounter under the new dispensation. How can government collaborate with the private operators so that they coexist. He again called for an improved salary as motivation packages for teachers. Government must look at staff motivation in terms of the salaries of teachers, the allowances of teachers, in terms of the time it takes to pay teachers what is due them. As we speak, there are teachers who have been on the job for three years. Their salaries are still not paid. Such things should not exist when the policy is rolled out. Meanwhile, Teu has lauded the president for pushing for the passage of an affirmative action bill. Our mothers, our sisters, our wives, they are really, really marginalized in the country because we need to create more space for them to be involved and contribute their quota in the growth of this country.